Hey everyone, so I hope you guys had a wonderful and delicious Thanksgiving with your families. I have a haul today for you guys from scrapbook.com. It's a few Christmas collections and I've been holding on to this haul for a couple weeks now. I'm really excited to show you guys because one of the collections is going to be used for my December Memories album this year. So let's just go ahead and get started. So the first collection that I have that I want to share with you is called Here Comes Santa by Becky Fleck for photo play and I love the Santa he is so so cute look at him he is just adorable so I already opened it up and this um is mainly green red white and black so I love the cut apart so this is the first paper and you get two of each so here's Santa presents Noel from the desk of Santa Claus. You have been caught, you have been caught being nice, naughty, issued to for the following behavior as observed, as observed by. And then, um, oh, Christmas tree, a little scenery, holiday wishes and mistletoe kisses. Santa is watching. Look at his little glasses. So cute. A little mailbox. When you stop believing in Santa, you get socks, which I thought was really, really cute. Holly Jolly, and it's all fun and games till Santa checks the naughty list. And then on the back is this um, black and white check pattern. So the next pattern paper is Santa, and he's just holding some presents. Then you have him holding his little Santa sack. Then you have him holding the list. Really, really cute. And on the back is this green plaid. So next is this tile sheet. So you have a bunch of little cut aparts here that you can use. A present, Santa, a tree, ornament, snowflakes, some bells, a wreath, poinsettias, stockings, ho, 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 a little cocoa mug. Um, this is keep warm, peppermints, more ornaments, a snowman, kiss me, which I love that. Um, presents, snowflake, more Santa, holly jolly, some berries, um, holly berries, and then star, more holly, or is this mistletoe? No, I think mistletoe's white. Yeah, I don't know what that is. It's just berries. Mittens, cookies for Santa, and then the silhouette on the moon of Santa and his reindeer. Um, and then on the back is this plaid. So this reminds me a little bit of Mad for Plaid from Photoplay. I used it last year in my December daily, so I'm gonna go ahead and leave that link down below so you guys can check it out. I believe I created a playlist, so you guys can check that out if you're interested. I love this sheet. It's green with ornaments. And on the back is this polka dot. So you have a deep red, a red and green polka dot. So the next sheet is cut apart. It says, Santa, please stop here. Believe, it's the most wonderful time of the year. Again, his silhouette on the moon, December 25th. Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year and ho, ho, ho. And on the back is one of my favorite Christmas patterns ever, the peppermint stripe. I love it, so cute. And then the next pattern is stockings. So there's different kinds with different little toes, like this one curls up, and then you have the long stockings, small stockings, really cute, and on the back of that is red with white snowflakes. And then last but not least, you have the sticker sheet. So this is what the sticker sheet looks like. I love his little clothes on the clothesline. The bells, holiday cheer. I love this little bell. Um, border sticker really really cute um, and then you have all these numbers so you could definitely cut these up and use them for December daily so that is the here comes Santa collection I also got the six by six paper pad so this is what it looks like and I'm gonna be showing you this because there is 24 sheets in here three of eight double-sided design paper so sometimes you get designs that are not in the 12 by 12. It was actually surprising to see these three by four cards in here because usually they'll have scaled everything down and then you have everything is really small. So there's that and then that pattern. And then you have um, Santa and this cute little scene, cute borders. So this is great for pocket pages and stuff. Again, here's that. And then on the back, you have the pattern paper. 
this plaid with the green. So you guys can see. And then there's the tiles. See how everything is really scaled down. Um, here you have the green um, background with the ornaments. And then the polka dot. The peppermint stripe. The stockings. There's the red with the white snowflakes. And see this one you didn't get in this, um, in the 12 by 12s, but this is the holly berries with the white background. And then the green and red stripe, which we also did not get. With um, On the back of that is the black with white snowflakes. And that is the six by six pad. I also got the little things to go with it. So I got um, the die cuts. So this is the ephemera. So I'm not going to open it all up, but this is what you get. So you get some frames, some tabs, a little banner that says Noel. It's not what's under the Christmas tree that matters. It's who's around it. This house is under elf surveillance, no humbug zone, jingle all the way, meet me under the mistletoe, really cute. So you get 26 pieces in here, so I got a couple of those. And then I also got the little chipboard. So this is the microchip shapes, 33 designs. So it's just like a little sheet of chipboard stickers. So you get Santa on his sleigh, um, little holly berries, Noel, snowman, a bell, Merry Christmas, these little, um, I guess they're like little berries and stars. Really, really cute. So that's, that is what I got for the Here Comes Santa collection. So the next collection that I have is Merry and Bright, and this is from Echo Park, and I love it. I love vintage things, but I love cute, kitschy vintage. So I don't really like distressed, grungy, Tim Holtz vintage, if that makes sense. Um, I love cutesy vintage, and I just love the colors in this. I love the pop of pink, and it has gold foil. So I love it already. So this is the first pattern paper and you have Santa holding a present, Santa with a couple reindeer. You have this really cute vintage snowman. I just love it. And then you have the gold foil. And then on the back of that is a red background with the white snowflakes. Then you have some cut aparts, journaling cards. So you have making spirits bright, ho ho ho, let's have a cup of cheer, this poinsettia print, Fa la la, um, this cute journaling card with the reindeer, kisses under the mistletoe, Santa with the pink bokeh background, um, these cute vintage ornaments. It's beginning to look a lot like Christmas. This adorable little deer by these bottle brush trees and it's the most wonderful time of the year. And then you have like this mint green, um, maybe a light blue. I don't know, it kind of looks like a mint green though. Um, this polka dot background. Then you have this red um, background with the gold foil and this cursive font. I don't know if you guys can see it says jingle all the way, fa la la, presents, holly jolly, just a bunch of Christmas phrases. And then on the back of that is a green plaid. I love this paper. It's so cute. All the presents. So you have a bunch of different um, sizes of presents and then on the back of that is Christmas lights so they have um, it's that mint pink red and dark red so the Christmas lights have like a mint white pink red and like a deep red so really really cute and then over here you have a bunch of numbers so you can cut these apart and use them in your December daily um, so over here they have a little Santa cut apart, and then in between some of them, they just have random icons. And the numbers do have the gold foil. I love that deer. So cute. And then on the back of that, oh my gosh, this is adorable. So on the back of that, um, they have like a pink background with stockings, trees, peppermints, candy canes. Oh, so cute. I love this. I love it. Then on this pattern paper, they just have that poinsettia background 
with pink poinsettias, which is really, really cute. And then this red with the kind of flourish on it. Oh my gosh. So this has bottle brush trees. Isn't that so adorable? And it has like the gold base. And then this is just white with different um, sizes and colors and shapes of snowflakes. This has more kind of parts. So this says a very Merry Christmas to you. A little journaling spot. We wish you a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. Um, this is kind of like that, uh, that pattern with the red and the gold foil words. Um, this is just the green and the white um, instead. So you have Merry Christmas, Fa La La, Sparkle, Holly Jolly, all the, or Jingle All the Way. And then over here you have this bokeh background and it says have a glistening, sparkling, shining, glittering Christmas. And then you have Santa with his big, huge beard that says Santa Claus is coming to town. And then on the back are these cute little cars with the Christmas trees tied to the top. Then you have this pink background with all the different faces of Santa. And then these cute little vintage deers. That's like the trouble with double-sided because I love both patterns so much that it's going to be hard to cut, <laughs> cut it up because I'm going to want to save it for this if I want to use this. Does that make sense? So sometimes that is the not fun part of using the double-sided papers. So over here you have a plaid and on the back you have the holly. And then they give you a border sheet. So you have this really cute one with Santa and all the reindeer, the bottle brush trees, the cars, this little banner um, that says fa la la. Cute. And then this red bokeh. That is gorgeous. Oh my gosh, that's so beautiful. And then this is the last sheet. It has all vintage ornaments. So beautiful. I love the pink and the red. And then it has the candy cane stripe on the back. And then last but not least, here is the sticker sheet. I love the cute vintage feel of this. It is so adorable. So you have the little um, candy jars with the candy inside. I love the ribbon candy. This cute vintage snowman. Look at the little um, the cake plate. I, I think it's called a cloche. cloche? I, I can't say it. But I just think that is so cute. I love the little deer stickers. So adorable. I also have the six by six paper pad of the Merry and Bright. So we're gonna go ahead and take a look at that. So there is the first little pattern. Um, you don't get the gold foil with this. So there is a polka dot pattern that you did not see in the 12 by 12. Presents and green plaid. The lights and a really cute pink background with all the icons. Just a red paper and then the poinsettia background. The flourish and then the bottle brush trees. Snowflakes and the cars. This really pretty bokeh and the pink background with the Santa heads. The deer and then this red plaid. Holly, and then the border, the paper, the red bokeh, and the ornaments, and then the um, candy cane stripe. So, and then it just repeats itself. So you didn't get too, too much different with that. Then I also got the chipboard phrases. So it's just chipboard stickers. So you have merriest wishes, joy, merry and bright, happy ho 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 to you, be jolly, be merry. Have yourself a merry little Christmas. I love this. These um, party favor poppers. Santa Claus is coming to town. Sparkle and shine. Tis the season to be jolly. Season's greetings. December 25th. And it has the gold foil. Really cute. I love this deer. And the sleigh. So they don't just give you phrases. They give you other things besides that. So I got that. And then I also got the chipboard accents. So this is what that looks like. And then again with the gold foil. I love the ribbon candy. I think it is so cute. More of these cute little party favor poppers. Um, oh, that's mistletoe, mistletoe or holly. Um, and you have a present, bottle brush trees, more deer, 
vintage ornaments. I love the candies. And then I also got the um, die cuts. So this is what it looks like. There's 33 pieces. And you get, looks like a couple journaling cards, banners, tabs, tags, frames. It looks like one frame, but it's still cute. I love it. So there's that. And that is what I got from the Merry and Bright collection. And then this is the last collection that I picked up. And this is called Santa's Workshop. And this is my favorite out of all of them. <laughs> I love this so much. This has such a Rankin Bass feel to it, and I just think it is so adorable. So I usually don't like blues in Christmas collections, but I'm not bothered by it in this. I just think it is so cute. So this is, like I said, Santa's Workshop from Cartabella. And when I say Rankin Bass, I'm talking like, Frosty the Snowman, Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer, Santa Claus is Coming to Town, all those stop-motion classic Christmas cartoons that we would see growing up, that is the feel of this. Just You can just see it in the font and in some of the little faces. Oh, it's just so cute. And I love the feel of Cardabella paper. It is so beautiful and thick, but not too thick. And I love the texture. I just think it's gorgeous. I've always loved the feel of Cardabella paper. I just think it's beautiful. So this is the first paper and it has some cut aparts. So you have Christmas, a little reindeer stable with a few reindeer, candy canes, uh, looks like Santa's workshop, Merry Christmas with a vintage snowman. Then you have this cute border of Mrs. Claus feeding cookies to the reindeers, Santa and his sleigh, some toys, vintage toys. Look at that top. Oh my gosh, that is so cute. Then you have a little map of the North Pole. You never see anything with Mrs. Claus. At least I didn't. I haven't seen anything with Mrs. Claus. And I just think this is so cute that you have Mrs. Claus and Santa together. If you want to do like a cute little couple spread or something in your December Memories album, I just think that is so adorable. Then you have Rudolph. Um, then you have this candy cane with all the different arrows pointing to where things are. So Toyland, Ranger Stable, Santa, it says North Pole. And then in the middle it says, there's always room for everyone on Santa's nice list. So, and on the back of that, you have these gorgeous vintage ornaments. I love it. Oh, it's so beautiful. I love this paper so much. So then on this sheet, you have Santa in his sleigh with his reindeer, and it says, Merry Christmas to all and to all a good night. And it just repeats itself. And then on the back of that, you have your numbers for December Daily or December Memories. So it says December, and then you have numbers 1 through 25. December 25th has Santa, and then you have all these little random cut aparts in between each number. On this page, you have vintage toys, which I just think is so cute. I have three kids, so this is going to be perfect. I love all these little vintage toys. So, so adorable. And then on the back, you have this really cool paper. I don't know what I'm going to use this for yet. If you guys have any ideas, leave them down in the comments below. I would truly appreciate it. Um, I know you could probably use this as a 12 by 12 layout, but I don't do layouts. So I'm kind of wondering what I could do. Um, I just love this so much. So it says, Santa's Naughty or Nice Monthly Checklist. Remember, he knows if you've been good or if you've been bad or good. Um, the child's name and then accomplishments and infractions. And then keep score all the way to December 24th. I mean, you could probably, like, I don't know, my instinct is to cut this off and use it in something. Um, but yeah, so that is the back of that paper. Then you have this blue background with the white snowflakes, which automatically makes me think of Frosty. Um, in the beginning of Frosty the Snowman, when they, you know, start the movie, you see the blue background with the white snowflakes, and that's what this totally reminds me of. And then on the other side of that is wreaths. So really pretty wreaths with the berry inside. Then you have this sheet with ornaments, and they 
look like they're hanging on these strings and they have the cute little stars in the background. And on the back of that, you have the red background with the white snowflake pattern. Then on this sheet, you have um, borders. So you have this scenery up top. Then you have welcome to the workshop. So it's like on a conveyor belt, all the toys. You have this scenery outside of the North Pole. And then you have um, this enlarged scene, like the little one that we saw in the beginning where she's feeding the reindeer the cookies. And on the back of that, you have this snow pattern. Then you have the blue background with the snow and Santa smiling. And on the back of that, you have like this um, red and white, I don't know, like checkered pattern. Then on this sheet, you have a bunch of cut aparts. So I love this. This is North Pole. And just see how the font is. It's so Rankin Bass esque. <laughs> really, really cute. Um, so it says where North, the North Pole is and what it is. Um, you have Noel and Merry Christmas. Your Christmas wish list. This cute little vintage car with the Christmas tree inside, which totally goes with my whole theme of my decor in my house this year. I have uh, about like 90% of my Christmas decorations up already. I'm going for like a modern farmhouse Christmas and I love it. So I have this red truck with the tree in the back. Um, just really, really cute. So over here you have Christmas memories and believe. And on the back of that, you have this cute garland with all the berries. And this sheet just has all the trucks and it says North Pole on the on the truck. And then you have the little tree in the back. This is gonna tie in perfectly because like I said, this is totally my decor this year. And then I have on the back, the holly berries. Oh my gosh, this is adorable. This is the font, you guys. Look at it, season's greetings. Santa, Christmas, toys, jingle, Noel, holly jolly. I love this little, you can't really see him, but look at that little gingerbread man. Oh, and I love Santa's face. And on the back you have the red and white stripe. And then over here you have this huge layout of the North Pole. So it says, um, this is the landing strip to the sleigh garage, Christmas tree forest, Mrs. Claus's bakery, the candy factory, Christmas Central, Elf Dormitory and Commissary, Santa's Manor, the Toy Factory, the Train Station. And then up here um, it says Abominable Snowman Peak. And then you can just see the swirls in the sky. It makes it look like it's so cold and windy. And then on the back they have a green and red stripe. And then this is the last sheet and you have a bunch of Christmas trees um, in the snow with all the um, snowflakes. And this almost reminds me of Rudolph. In the beginning when you see um, the snowman talking, introducing the story, and he's in that forest. This is kind of what that reminds me of too. And then on the back is more of this adorable, like cold, windy, like, oh, so cute. And then of course this is the sticker sheet. So you have Love's My Secret Ingredient. Oh, this is adorable, look at it. Then you have all the reindeer names. This is the cutest gingerbread I've ever seen, like, in a paper collection. Like, it's just so adorable. Look at, even like the reindeer's faces are so, so cute. Dear Santa, define good. Greetings from the North Pole. So next I got the chipboard phrases. So this is what it looks like. So you have the banner, um, loves my secret ingredient, Jack Frost nipping at your nose. This, I was sold like on this. I wasn't sure if I was gonna get both of these chipboard um, packs, but I saw this and I had to get it because I don't know if anybody knows because it's not the most popular Rankin Bass Christmas special, um, but I love Jack Frost, the Rankin Bass Jack Frost. Oh, I love it. I watched it the other day and I just love it. I love it, it's so cute. I love Jack Frost. So when I saw that, I had to. And then here's Santa's workshop. Then I thought this was perfect because my daughter, I could put this on a little way out from her. Dear Santa, my brother made me do it. This cute little tag, it says, I saw that. 
<laughs> from Santa. And then um, again, you have the greetings from the North Pole, Christmas Day, oh, just so cute. So those are the phrases. And then I got the chipboard accents. So you have Santa's toy shop. Then you have Santa over here, the truck. You get that cute gingerbread. Before I go on showing you the embellishments, I forgot to show you the six by six paper pad. So this is the paper pad. And here is the, see how everything is kind of scaled down. Then you have all these teeny tiny cut aparts. So there's that. I'm going to kind of quickly go through this. There's this blue background. And then I have it small right here, which is nice, because then I could actually use that in something. I know this is a long video, but hopefully you guys are comfy. <laughs> so here's this one. More cut apart, which is nice. And it looks like everything that is in the 12 by 12 is in this, yep. So nothing new, really. Um, but there's the six by six pad. And next I have the frames and tags. So this is what it looks like. So you get a bunch of these cute frames, all different shapes and sizes of tags. Look at Jack Frost snipping at your nose. Next, I have the ephemera. So this is what's inside. You get more tags, tabs, frame, phrases, banners, just really, really cute. So that is my haul from scrapbook.com. I am so excited to start playing with all the little goodies that I had ordered. And I'm actually really excited to do some Christmas crafting. I have so many ideas of all the projects that I want to do. I'm going to be doing a Christmas series here on my channel. I'm going to do a video more about that soon. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much it. Let me know what collections you guys picked up this year. Thanks so much for watching. And if you're not subscribed and you'd like to be, just go ahead and click the subscribe button. And if you would like to get notified when I upload videos, just go ahead and click the notification bell. Thanks again for watching, and I will talk to you all soon. Love you guys. Bye.